Hey everyone, my name is Wendy Holden, and we've been hearing stories about how the Lord has been sharing and working in people's lives the last three to four months. And today we have Dr. Judith Graham with us, Ben Graham's wife. Uh, I work with Ben, but now I get to sit and talk with you, which I'm excited about. So welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Sure. Tell us a little bit about, you've been here, what, um, a year Almost now? A year. Yeah. And half of that has been in COVID season. So tell us a little bit about your story and what the Lord has been showing you in the last three to four months. Yeah, well, it uh, was definitely a an interesting time to have COVID hit for our family, uh, having being new here and not having yeah. a you know established community and you know strong friendships. Um, and I am a person who does struggle with depression a bit. And if you know anything about depression, oh, if you're around, not around people, it is a bad thing. And so um, it flared up a bit. Um, and on top of that, my son, who's four, was going through one of the roughest seasons we've had with him. He started saying things like, I want you to go to another family, mommy. I want to go to another family. I, you know, kill me now, throw me out the car and run me over. And I'm like, how does oh a four-year-old know how to say these things? Yeah. Um, and so I was perplexed and overwhelmed and the negativity was just really getting to me. And so I was, I was having a hard time figuring out how to handle him and what to do. Um, and so I was definitely struggling with a bit of de depression as well. Sure, absolutely. But uh, God was really good too, obviously he always is. Um, but he started just little ways, he, he, he reached out to me through other people. As I reached out to my friends or as they reached yeah. out to me, I started hearing stories that really encouraged me. I was meeting with a dear friend of mine who works to prevent trafficking for women. And she was telling me that entire red light districts have been shut down by governments. And I was just overwhelmed by that. Yeah. And to hear how God is at work, even in the midst of this very crazy, stressful, out of control feeling season of COVID, was such a blessing and gave me such peace and really brought to mind this particular verse in Colossians uh, 1.17 that it says, and he is before all things and in him all things hold together. And it just brings this picture to my mind of Christ who not only uh, started creation, but he has just held it all in his hands, all of us both personally and globally at the yes. same time. Yes. And that is our God, that is my God. Mm -hmm. And so I can trust him and I can wait and see what he's gonna do with this time. Yeah. In that moment where things were just hard and heavy and the things that, um, the stories that you had heard that were encouraging to you brought you hope. What did that look like in that moment um, when the situation at hand didn't necessarily change, but how did that help you change your thought process? <sighs> I think it's still working on me. Because, uh, you know, there's some moments I do really well where I remember to fix my eyes on Jesus and on these great new things and knowing that God is really at work and not just, we're not just lost in COVID and the horrible politics and all the other junk going on right now. Uh, but I just really saw the Lord's hand and remembered, fix my eyes on Him. He is the author and perfecter of my faith. He gives great peace to all those who run to Him and He works good out for all of us. And so uh, it just became more peaceful. Yes. I still struggle sometimes. Absolutely, but, but thank you for obvious. sharing that because we we need to know how that looks tangibly uh, and what peace looks like in those moments that it's just rough. So thank you for sharing yeah, and being absolutely. here today. So you all, we want you to be sharing your stories with one another, stories of encouragement and hope. It's easy to focus on the negative and the things that are annoying, but we'd really encourage you to help one another out by sharing your encouraging stories of what the Lord is doing in your life. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a great week.